What's up, everybody? It's Ennis here. Welcome to another episode. This week, we're in Beverly Hills, California, and about to tour this incredible modern home. Get ready to see some amazing details, beautiful architecture, and walls of glass opening towards amazing views of Los Angeles. Now, specs on this home. We got five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 10,278 square feet of interior space, built on a 16,888 square foot lot, and this property is currently on the market for $33,950,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the owner, the development team, and all the listing agents for allowing us to tour their amazing new listing. Now, let's begin our tour. From the street level, we have the gate opening up to the rooftop deck of this home. Rooftop deck also serves as the motor court where you can park up to 15 cars. And as soon as you drive in, you're hit head on with the incredible views of downtown Los Angeles and the whole city. I mean, the views from this point on looks incredible. We have glass railing throughout, some outdoor patio set up here outdoor fireplace and a TV above on that side and wrapping around the corner before we leave this side, we actually have either your security quarters or your maze quarters here. Door opens up and we go straight into the garage. Glass garage doors on the right, same stone floors are also here. And on this side, we have these transit windows above bringing natural light to this garage. And you guys can see the curvature on the wall here as the exterior walls are kind of wrapping around the street level. Now, going this way, we have this door opening up to a full bathroom here, both servicing the garage and the room we are about to check out. Beautiful walk-in shower with rain head, floating vanity design on this side, and this door opens up to the bedroom. I mean, this bedroom gets some of the best views we've seen in Beverly Hills, all the way to downtown Los Angeles. This is incredible, and again, this could serve as your security quarters or your maid's quarters. Now, let me open the door up and go outside for a second. That's the garage door we just talked about. Overall, this is a great outdoor space where you can park your cars or have parties. As we go this way, we have the elevator access going down all the way to the lower level. And this is a really special part of this home, this outdoor atrium. Above us, we have these beams that are clad with stone and LED lighting that serves as a sunshade for this open atrium. Right behind me, we have a water feature that runs on this wall all the way down to the lower level where we have the water feature. And as we go down right in the center of this atrium, we have this beautiful steel staircase clad with stone stairs. That is a beautiful design that brings you to the landing on this floor. Around me, we have this water feature that sets the mood as you walk into the property and we have the front door right here. Let's go inside. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry. We got this massive pivot door from Italy that welcomes you into the house. We got latches, locks on the bottom and on the top, fingerprint access or your passcode. And when you close this door, it actually automatically locks. There you go. Now you're safe. And as soon as you walk in, you're hit head on with the incredible views of Los Angeles and the whole city. I mean, views from this property looks incredible. We have these oversized stone floors that kind of follows throughout this entire level. And right in front of us, we have the formal living room area. 14 foot high ceilings. And this whole room is focused towards this side where we have this gorgeous marble wall clad with narrow marquina marble. And it's beautifully book matched as well. You guys can see it on each side. They have this recessed in area for your future TV. And down below, you have the massive linear gas fireplace to cozy up this section of the house. Now, just like the rest of the floor here, we have these 14 foot 
Fleetwood doors, and there are a couple things I would like to point out about these doors. Because ceilings are so high on this level, they had to custom fabricate these Fleetwood doors and add additional two foot panels down below to make sure it fits this opening right here, which is again, 14 foot. Number two, because we have so many panels on each side, these panels are automatic, so with a push of a button, they all pocket on each side, opening up this floor to these amazing views. So instead of putting the beams on the exterior walls, they kind of push the beams to the outside instead of keeping it on the exterior wall, which allowed them to put so many of these Fleetwood doors and create the seamless indoor-outdoor flow. And number two, we actually have a small kind of a Juliet balcony outside with glass railing. So even when you have the doors open, you can actually step outside a little bit and enjoy your views. That's really nice. All right, let's continue. Now, right on the other side, we have the formal dining room area. Beautiful table right in the center that sits 12 people. Gorgeous brass chandelier right above. It's super elegant. And again, from here, you kind of get this more of the corner view where you can see all the way to downtown Los Angeles. And actually from this corner, you can see all the way to the ocean. This is incredible. Now, to complement the dining area, we have the temperature control wine cellar here. Beautiful brass details like these door sills and door hinges on top. And as we open up the door, we got a floating shelf design here, racks are on the walls, and to carry out that brass details, they have this brass tile back wall, temperature controlled, and lastly, Mikey, let's get a close up here. We got these gorgeous brass handles. There you go. Looks great. Yeah, that's really cool. Now, right on the other side, we have the kitchen. It's all open, flat panel cabinetry, contrasting beautifully with the lighter walls. Everything is seamlessly paneled in. We have the pantry space here. Quartzite countertops also used as a backsplash. And to bring some contrast to this kitchen, we have either darker wood tones or these aluminum finished doors. As you guys can see right here, looks great. Let's see, right behind me, we have more pantry space, Miele built-in appliances, more of the darker tones, and we have the warming drawer down below. As we continue this way, more base cabinets, paneled in fridge, and freezer and let's focus on the island for a second so we got absolute black granite countertops here induction melee cooktop with a melee pop-up vent i mean everything you need you got your microwave down below here and going to the other side more cabinetry same core site was used also here as a countertop as well as these wall clads and we got this massive picture window right here you can actually see downtown Los Angeles and a nice view of this palm tree. Yeah, it's really a uh, really good view, but I want to talk about the stone for a second. So just walking around, we've already seen at least three or four different kinds of stone. Uh, and I know there's a lot more downstairs. Yep. Um, do you know how many different kinds of stone there are in this house? I don't know, but there are a lot. I mean, every single bathroom, floors, bars are clad with stones. We're going to see them throughout. They're beautiful. Yeah, really nice. All right, let's see. We got this hand beaded brass sink that looks gorgeous. Brass fixtures, again, to complement the brass details of this home. And Mikey, why don't we actually come this way so we can talk about this island design. We have the same darker tone cabinets also here, but they have this lower section here, kind of as like a little dining area, seating area. And they use the same wood veneer that you guys can see on the back doors or back upper uh, kitchen cabinets. Again, to unify the design, looks great. And it's a little bit more lower for comfortable seating. Just realize the detail. Look how they clad the back of this cabinet, open cabinet with the same quartzite countertops. More of that stone. And I, I also love the color of this cabinetry. It's kind of like a gray bluish kind of color. It's really cool. Yeah, it contrasts nicely. And Mikey, before we wrap up the kitchen, let's actually point out to the ceiling to bring some more warmth to this kitchen area, they have this drop ceiling detail clad with beautiful wood, recessed lights, and they have the LED lighting throughout. Now, you guys may think that's it for the kitchen, but it's not because we actually have a hidden door right here that opens up to the back caterer's kitchen. We have the melee gas stove, hood vent above, same quartzite was also used here, and as a backsplash, and wrapping around, we have more base cabinets, some uppers, there you go, we have the dishwasher here. We of course have a dishwasher on the main kitchen as well, more cabinetry. And before we go to the other side, there's a detail I would like to show to you guys here. So this is the elevator access for the home. It goes down on each floor, up and down, as well as the rooftop. But if you 
uh, press the door here, it opens up to the main entry actually. So if you have caterers come in, your chef come in, they can come to the elevator access and go straight to the caterer's kitchen. So it's a nice amenity, it's dual sided. And this side, they have these acrylic panels. So as you're going up and down, you have a nice view to look at. Now, the last part of this caterer's kitchen, we have a door that opens up to the staircase on the right hand side of the property. So it's an easier access, ice maker, small fridge, more built-ins, and our favorite espresso maker. Now that's it for the caterer's kitchen. Let's go back in. All right, that's it for the caterer's kitchen and the main kitchen. Overall, this floor is really impressive with these high ceilings all open and these walls of glass. I mean, I won't get tired just looking at these views. Now, we're back at the entry. We have the staircase here going down to the lower level, primary bedroom around the corner. But first, there are two more rooms here that I would like to cover. This door opens up to the powder room. Beautiful fabricated onyx vanity set up here with a hidden drain and the same brass details are also here with the fixture and the mirror. Darker tiles on the walls, stacked stone design on this side, and we have the water closet right behind me. Now, as we get out, this door opens up to the office. Beautiful wood paneled back wall. We can actually see the brass inlay details on the other side. Looks great. Some open shelving. And right there we have the curved wall facing the front entry, front foyer, where we have that beautiful outdoor staircase. Good size room. Now let me take you guys back out and right around the corner we have the primary bedroom. So let's check it out. I love this primary bedroom. We have the same drop ceiling detail that we saw in the kitchen. Also here warming up the space. King size bed on this side, complemented with these glossy wood veneer panels on each side, giving it a nice contrast. Beautiful wall sconces. We got a dresser on that side and the king size bed. It's focused towards this side where we have this massive fireplace assembly, clad with gorgeous lighter tone marble, TV, linear gas fireplace down below. Built-ins on the right hand side with this gloss finish and a glass backsplash LED lighting. Looks stunning. And right behind me, you get a bit of a seating area and these automatic sliding glass doors, again, opening up to the same wraparound patio we have on this floor, looking towards these amazing views. These views look incredible during the day, but they look even better at night, which we will see later in the video. Now, let's start with the bathrooms. We have two bathrooms. By the way, before we go in, I'm just seeing details now. Look at how gorgeous these brass door handles are. And we have the same magnetic doors that we've been seeing a lot lately. They're great and they're quiet. Yeah, let's uh, look at this bathroom. I know we have a lot more stone to come. We have a lot more to see. So we have beautiful lighter tone stones here and they carried out the same stone details also on the walls, same ceiling heights, freestanding tub on this corner, taking advantage of the incredible views. And because this corner sits out a little bit, you kind of get a more open view, which is incredible as if the views weren't great enough. Uh, brass top filler on this side, floating vanity right here. I really appreciate that they clad the bottom of the vanity with the same tile. They didn't skip any details. Really appreciate that. Marble countertops with wide reveal and we have the same brass details also here with the fixture, round mirror and these wall sconces on each side. Looks gorgeous, I mean it's a beautiful bathroom. And we also have these sliding glass windows actually kind of opening up if you want to get some fresh air here. Now let me take everybody to this side. We have the walk-in shower. Same tiles are also brought in here. Very gentle slope on the floors and you have the hidden drain right underneath the bench. And let's see, we have the water feature, a rain head right above, fixtures, handheld, shampoo niche, and to kind of unify that brass detailing, they have these brass tiles in the shampoo niche on this side and right here. Looks great. Let me ask you, what is that, uh, what is that little floating detail above you? That was, that's, that's kind of interesting. I think it just to give some texture to the ceiling rather than just having it kind of boring and all flat. Or they may have an LED lighting in there in the future. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really cool. Also, I just realized, I think you just turned off the light. I just turned off the light, there we go. It's all good and we have steam outlet and a steam control right here. Now, let me take everybody to this side. We, we are not done yet with this bathroom. Kind of the makeup section right here. Water closet on the other side with these uh, toilets that open up. I gotta learn the name of this movement. 
I, I can't help you with that. Yeah. I've been speaking English all my life and I still don't know <laughs> don't what those know. are called. Fair enough. And we walk in to the first closet. I mean, closets are gorgeous. Same darker tone wood paneling is also brought in here as a back wall with these beautiful brass frames, some open shelving, uh, hangers above, LED lighting, gorgeous island setup right in the center. Everything is beautifully dressed. And to complement it all, we have a chandelier right in the center, picking up some of those details that we saw at the Vanity uh, Wolf Scances. That's it for the first bathroom and the closet. Let's go back into the bedroom and go to the other side where we have the second bathroom and the second closet. So this bathroom has more of the darker tones, beautiful stone walls. We have some closet space on this side with these beautiful reflective glass doors. Everything is LED lit on the inside. Just looks great. Cabinetry in this house is stunning also. And just like we mentioned, ton of stonework, right? Floating vanity design here with the marble countertops, LED lit mirror. This is really interesting. You, we have a TV right in the center of this LED lit mirror. Yeah, it's uh, really interesting. And you know, you can just come in here in the morning and watch Jurassic Park while you're brushing your teeth. There you go. You I don't can know do if that. that's the kind of like the movie or TV show they would typically. Well, you can do that if you want to. So they probably have like the news on. You probably know? or a podcast or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Wall sconces on each side and they carried out this darker marble back wall into the walk-in shower. I mean, the size of this walk-in shower is incredible. Because this one has more of the darker tones, they created this darker contrast with this mosaic tile on this side, bench design, chrome fixtures, and Mikey, let's point out to that uh, rain head above. Yeah, that's a really nice rain head. When we go downstairs, we'll see a few really uh, nice ones in the guest rooms. We will. And that's pretty much it for the top floor of this home. Now let's go back to the staircase, check out the bedrooms down below and the backyard. Alright everyone, let's go check out downstairs, but first I gotta talk about this beautiful staircase design. So this is a floating steel staircase. It's actually not bolted to the walls on each side, and we have the steel core right in the center here, clad with this beautiful natural stone. And look at the hand railing design they have here. Again, picking up those brass details, and on the inside, they clad it with this beautiful marble uh, mosaic tile that also picks up some of those brass details. Looks gorgeous, open riser. It's a very minimalist modern design. Now on this floor, we got some entertainment spaces, starting with this door right here, which is the movie theater. Carpet floors, nine electric recliner chairs with the cup holders and the table setups. Nice, comfortable seating. We have beautiful textures on the walls with these cloth or the wood panels right behind the screen. This door opens up to the control center and we have this cool guy here showing some homes. Cool guy indeed. There you go, let's continue our tour. Overall, it's a good movie theater. Now, let's go back to the landing and open this door right here, which leads us to the gym. Spacious room with stone floors, a lot of LED lighting detail with the ceiling and these backlit mirrors on this side. And right there, we have plenty of built-ins with countertop space, fridge, and more upper cabinets. This room is currently staged as a gym, but I would personally use it as an office because it has these windows, I mean, uh, glass panels that fogs up. Yeah, I feel like we don't get to see these often enough in homes. I really like them now. It's a nice detail. It is. And lastly, before we leave here, around the corner, we have a full bathroom with beautiful stone walls and a walk-in shower. Now, let's go back to the landing. Right in the center, as you land from the staircase, we have this pool table with a beautiful ceiling detail, chandelier above, and going around the corner, we have some built-in closets here and the elevator access for this level and a beautiful powder room on this side with stone walls, floating vanity design, and this gorgeous onyx sink. Now let's go back out and wrapping around the corner here, we have the bar. Beautiful marble countertops with the lettered finish and they also have the waterfall edge here, beautifully book matched, 
sink set up on this side, same brass sink that we saw at the main kitchen. They also brought it in here. Let's see, cabinetry is gorgeous by the way. We actually have these stainless steel reveals around. I believe that's, I actually, I think this is the ice maker. We have the dishwasher on this side, more of these flat panel cabinets, black granite countertop here, and the veneer that we saw in the primary bedroom, they also brought it here with this beautiful gloss finish. Let's see, more cabinets. And on this side, we kind of have more of the open shelving here with a nice glass backsplash they use as a tile that kind of has that um, crocodile skin texture. That's it for the bar, and bar is here to complement the seating area on the lower level. Again, beautiful furniture setup. Same wood veneer was also brought in here for this open shelving. Again, looks stunning with LED lighting. And the marble from the islands, they used it here, again, with the lettered finish, book matched in the center, TV is mounted above, linear gas fireplace, and at the cozy seating area because we have these sliding glass doors on this level, again, automatic, opening up to the covered patio space, leading us to the backyard and the amazing views. This is incredible, look at the view here. We'll get out there in a minute. Now, so far we covered the movie theater, gym, bar area, seating area, and the other side on this floor, we have the first guest suite right here. Spacious room with hardwood floors, king size bed situated on this side, walls of glass opening up to the patio space, again, which we'll tour in a bit, and we have the built-in closets right here, nicely paneled in with this sliding barn door. Everything is beautifully dialed in. Details look great. And let me close this before we leave. Right around the corner, we have the bathroom. Again, clad with all stone on the walls as well as the floors. Seamless transition to the walk-in shower with chrome fixtures. And on this side, we have the floating vanity design with LED lit mirror. Now, let's go back to the hallway. We have two more guest suites on this side. This door opens up to a laundry room with two washers and two dryers, plenty of upper and lower cabinets. That's the storage closet, and this door opens up to the second guest suite. This room is a little bit bigger than the one that we just toured, but again, same design elements are also here with the hardwood floors, king size bed, walls of glass opening up to the covered patio space, leading you to the backyard and the amazing views. We have the built-ins on this side, nicely paneled in, and around the corner we have the full bathroom, again, Beautiful floating vanity design with this closed cabinetry, LED lit mirror, and a walk-in shower, and a rain head above. Now let's go back to the hallway and tour the last guest suite, which starts right here. And before we go in, let's cover the walk-in closet. Everything is beautifully paneled in. We have some open shelving, hangers, LED lighting around. And going back to the hallway, we have a bit of a desk area on the left, and the full bathroom right here, again, Stone everywhere, floors, walls with nice slabs, and a spacious walk-in shower here with rain head, just like the other bathrooms. Now let's check out the bedroom side, which is here, king size bed, another spacious room, same hardwood floors are also here, and we have these sliding glass doors stacking on each side, opening up to the backyard. Now before we go out there, there's actually one more detail I would like to point out. These openings that we have in the ceilings on the first and second floor, those are there for you to place your future automatic shades. So I wanted to point that out. And now let's go check out the backyard. So this sliding glass door stacks on this side, opens up to the covered patio space, outdoor furniture. This is the second guest suite that we toured earlier. We have the first one right here. And on this side, we got this gorgeous fire pit right in the center of the backyard, focused towards the views for you to just enjoy this backyard. And going here, this is where we have the opening from the seating area off of the lower floor. Again, sliding glass doors all tucked on this side, opening up, creating this beautiful indoor outdoor flow. Outdoor seating area also here, space heaters above, built-in speakers, recess lights, all the good stuff. And on this side, we have probably one of the most impressive outdoor kitchens we've seen on this channel. I mean, gorgeous island right in the center with the bar seating on this side. Beautiful fabricated marble countertops. I mean, we got so many amenities here with the uh, warming drawers, fridges, and Mikey, let's point out to this side for a second. Gas barbecue. I've never seen this brand, but knobs look really cool. Just looks gorgeous. This is interesting. Ready? 
biggest what burner we've ever seen probably. Oh yeah, the thing is huge. Yep. And we have the sink on the other side. Let's see, ice maker, dishwasher. Everything you need. Everything you need and look at the views. Now let me take you guys to this side, built-in seating area with the same stone. And going this way, we have the spa, beautiful plaster, Baja shelf on this side, and this impressive 92 foot wraparound infinity edge pool looks stunning. I mean, it looks so inviting. This is what Los Angeles lifestyle is all about. I mean, look at these views. It's a beautiful sunny day. You have this grass section between the uh, covered patio and the pool. I mean, you got everything you need. And keep in mind, this is a hillside property. So it's kind of unheard of to get that much flat space and all the square footage with these kind of views. And even the hillside on this side is nicely grass. I mean, looks beautiful with the landscaping below. We got a water feature on the other side of this pool. I feel like I keep mentioning these details that are so many. Yeah. Even the coping of the pool all around is wrapped with this beautiful stone. And again, we're in Beverly Hills. You get the... Los Angeles downtown views all the way to the ocean. This is incredible. Now, Mikey, while we're up here, I want to kind of turn back and showcase the house for a second. It's a beautiful modern architecture. Again, floor to ceiling glass doors on both levels, all opening up to the amazing views. Columns are kind of set forward a little bit for these sliding glass doors to kind of function a little bit better and be more seamless. I really like these steel cantilevers that they have on the first and second floor, serving as a sunshade to the house. Again, it's a beautiful modern architecture and I'm really glad we got a chance to tour it. And that's pretty much it for the tour of this home. But of course, we're gonna do what we always do, spend a few more hours here, enjoy this home and wait for the sun to go down so we can see this place at night. everyone and that's it for the tour i hope you all enjoyed this video seeing this home during the day was great but seeing it at night is even better it's so peaceful and tranquil up here and at night this house is just glowing it looks beautiful and i'm really glad we got a chance to tour this phenomenal property and share it with all of you and for that i want to thank the owner the development team and all the listing agents for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you and i hope you all enjoyed it if you did make sure to give us a like if you have any questions or input as always, leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next week.